Capsule fall outfit inspo guide kind of video, so let's get into it. I've been having a lot of fun with fashion these days. If you've been following me on Instagram or on TikTok, then you know that. I'm just into it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a few pieces that I got from Mango, which I've never shopped at before. H&M, I have not been there in years. Zara, Zara, you know Zara, you feel me? And Amazon, all right? In this first look, I got this Zara bomber jacket. I didn't mean to get this. I went into Zara because Infinity wanted to go to Zara, and if you don't know Infinity's my assistant, she wanted to go to Zara, and I saw this on the rack, and I was like, hold on a second. Cream, white, those neutrals are having all kinds of moments right now. I needed to have this in my arsenal. I didn't want to get it because I had gotten other stuff at Zara that day, but then I had to circle back and grab this. I think it's so cute. It's soft, it's oversized. All links to all that I mentioned are gonna be below as well as my sizes. It's oversized, it just feels so good. I have not buttoned it, I don't plan on buttoning it, but to wear it over an outfit is an option. To put your hands inside the sleeves, that's an option as well. I I like the idea that I had on dark colors and then I put this bright neutral on top. I just wanted to try something new. But I've also worn this in a different look on IG where I had on all white, off-white cream and it was superb. This is a cute jacket. It'll go with a lot, believe that. Now this turtleneck is old, but I get all my turtlenecks at least as of now from Amazon. So I've linked that below. I love a good turtleneck. I've got white, black, I've got obviously these types of body suits. I just love a good basic, you feel me? So that's linked below as well. These cargo jeans, I love. I've worn these since getting them maybe four times. I think these are so sick and cute. Now it's a size XL. I'm not wearing a belt. It does open up as you wear it. I could put a belt on top. I don't know how a large would fit me. I wanted it to be baggy. Maybe I need to take in the waist a bit because you know my proportions just make it that way. But put a belt on it if you want to. Again, I like the baggy look. I don't know that I want a large. I don't want it tight on me. I want it to look real rugged, you feel me? I love these jeans. I can imagine going to a concert and putting all my belongings in my pockets because that's just how free flowing and just big it is. These shoes are cute as well. Again, at Zara, minding my own business, and I saw these and I said, I need these. I'm building up my arsenal of nude, taupe, cream pieces, browns, of course, and I love this. Even though it's not an exact match to many things, I love how it offsets the look, you feel me? Comfortable, I don't wear socks, if you don't know that. I don't have smelly feet, I don't have feet sweating issues, I just don't, and I don't wear socks. I don't feel like it. I wore these without socks, it was comfortable, the heel is comfortable, the shoe is just so cute, it feels like a sock on your foot that's a heel. It's just a no-brainer. I love, love this outfit. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And the hair. The hair was doing something too. My hair is so pressed right now. It was pressed in that video as well. So I did the whole bang, bang. Ah, I'm excited. That's one outfit that you can put on this fall and look real good, okay? Now the second way that I styled this look with this Zara, is it a jacket? It's got velvet or suede, is it suede? Yeah, suede on the inside and it's a faux leather. This is just so cute. I got this years ago. I'll link what I can below and if not, definitely you find some dupes as well. This is really cute. It's oversized, it's big, you feel me? So this can be worn as an actual jacket or you can wear it as a top, put a belt on it, do what you feel, put it over the shoulders and let it just drape, put your hands in the sleeves. I like this a lot. Again, if you wanted to keep it simple and do black on black with the washed black jeans. And then I kept those taupe, what, is it? It's not pewter, pewter is more purple. What, what, what would you call that? I don't know, anyway, the color of the boots, I kept that as something different, you feel me? And I, I just think it was so cute. You come and let me know what you think about these first two looks. And this third look is the same idea, right? But I switched out the black jacket and now put on a black vest. Now this vest is from last year from Amazon. I have it in brown as well. I think it's so cute. I did zip it, but it wasn't even what I needed. It's gonna choke my neck and then get on my makeup and I'll like all that. Granted, if it's mad cold outside, do what you gotta do. But I'm wearing this for fashion, okay? On a really cold day, I'm not wearing that. I need to really bundle myself up and I will make sure that I'm prepared to do that. That's the idea. I like this outfit because it's so cute. I like the juxtaposition between something fitted, so the, the turtleneck bodysuit, and then something puffy, which is the vest, right? I thought it had pockets, but it doesn't. It's really for the look. You feel what I'm saying? And I like how it goes puffy, furred turtleneck, big baggy jeans, and then the sock heels. It's just a whole vibe. The ones 
sunglasses and get you a little small purse or a big tote, depending on what you're doing with the vibe is, you feel me? And you're onto something. On to the next look. Now, while I was at Zara, like I said, I did not have any business looking around, but I was. I saw these mules and it reminded me, it was so nostalgic. Back in the day, my aunt had mules like this. And I remember I think I had some that looked a little bit like this. And now that all the stuff is coming back, I'm like, I should have saved everything. I literally should have put all my stuff from the, the 90s, 2000s in the storage. Like what? These are so nostalgic and I liked them, but I was like, I don't need them. Honey, I came back home and I was like, I need to buy these. So I went and grabbed them. I wear a size 10. I love these. The front is very pointy and you might feel like it makes your foot look elongated, but I like that. I think it's sexy. The chunky heel is just great. It feels comfortable. It's perfect because I don't wear socks anyway. It just is just, I just, I just like it. And then at H&M, which I had no business at, I found these satin pants, which I wish were longer, I will say. I love a good pant that hits the floor. This one doesn't, not on me. Not in these heels though. These pants are so cute. Now the problem is that, because of my shape, okay? When I had a tummy, it would fill the front of pants. Whereas now that I've had the light bulb, it's flat in the front. So it's giving bubble because the booty. The wagon fills out the back, I does, yeah. And then it leaves a bubble in the front. That's my only issue with pants like this. I'm learning how to style my body now that it's just, tweaked a little bit, you feel me? But I like these pants, they're soft, they're cute, they are big on me. I think I got an XL, a 14, cause I wanted it to be loose and, and flow. I didn't want it tight on my thighs, you see, cause I have a small waist, the hips honey, you know, and then the thighs, buddy. It's just always a challenge to make sure that the pants that I wear, given how I want it to look on me, will fit well because I want it to fall and not hug, it's not leggings. So it's just doing a little something for me, but I like it. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. I like these pants a lot. Of course, I have on the black turtleneck. And then this blazer. The blazer I got in an XL because I wanted to do my oversized, I'm my oversized era, you feel me? It's different for me. I'm used to wearing stuff that's fitted, but some stuff just looks so good oversized. This blazer is huge, I get it. But it's been working for me. I wear it with something fitted on the inside and it just works. It just looks so sexy. Like, come on, you know what I'm saying? And then for the next look, we went over to Mango. I've been hearing and, and seeing so much about Mango that I was like, what they got in there for the curvy girls, okay? And I snagged this skirt that I think is so cute. Now, I did not know my size in Mango. Again, it was my first time. So a few of these things are oversized. But if you watch my vlogs, you know that I went in and I did exchange, okay? So this skirt, I went in and sized down on because it was just big. It was big on the hips. It was big on the waist, but it's so cute. It has a zip and a clasp in the back. I love the pleated detailing. I love the tights too. Yo, I have not had Type in ages. I know that this look is giving schoolgirl, and on TikTok, some people will just. Is there a problem with grown women dressing like a schoolgirl? There's no intention to try to be facetious. It was just a cute outfit. I digress. I love this look. The tights are nice and thick. Okay, thick in the way that, it, that you know that it's quality material, you feel me? And then with the Zara mules, come on, you can't beat it. You can't beat it, you feel me? The button down, I will admit, it's huge. It's oversized, but I, I'm going somewhere. The button down is from Zara. I am going somewhere because I like how big it is. I, again, I don't need everything to be so fitted, you feel what I'm saying? And then the brown cardigan, I think is really cute. I preferred it open instead of buttoned, right? I was just trying things out when I was putting this stuff together. I prefer it opened up. I think it looks so great with the sunglasses and the hair. This look is cute. And then I got these cowboy boots from Mango that are so sexy. I think these are so cute. I have some big calves, okay? And they fit my calves well. It's not giving lots of space in my calves. It's not giving, you can wear pants underneath it, but definitely, let's say with a dress, if it's a fall day and I can wear a dress, no tights, and then with the boots, it'll go. Or even with these tights that I have on right now, the boots go with as well. They're just so sexy. I think that we all need a good classic pair of boots in our closet. These are mine right now, for sure. Now this white and black sweater, I also had to go in and size down on because you can see that it's really big on me. I'm just so shocked. I'm really shocked. So medium and mango is not my size. I wear a small. So when I got the medium, it fits me a lot better. Just FYI there, okay? I think that this is so cute. It's a cute, again, another winter weather sweater staple. Wow, did I say that well? Okay, because it was giving a little tongue twister. I think it's just so cute. This is a thick sweater. It's a thick, cozy sweater for sure. And I like it. I can see myself matching this up with a number of things. So that's why I say that it's a good staple to have in your wardrobe. And then the brown one's a little different because it gives 
gives the crew neck, whereas the cream and black striped one is more of a V. This one I like as well. I wore that one in a video that I put on TikTok and IG and it went viral and I was so shocked about it. I like this sweater. It's comfortable. It's got that material that if it's cheaply made, it can make you feel itchy. This one's not that. It's really, really cute. And in that viral video on TikTok actually, I used Dickies. I don't know the name of it. Dickies is where you have the, the collared shirt that is not a full shirt. It just goes like this, like a bib. And then it connects right here so it's not falling all over the place. I wore it with that and I got that after this video. So you can put a full button down underneath these sweaters or get one of those Dickies. I'll, I'll link the Dickies below. <laughs> It's called. Yeah, I'll link it below. I have it in black and white and you can put that underneath it if you don't want to put a full sweater on. If you feel like you're gonna be too hot, then go ahead and grab those dickies. But this is also a good look. I love a good brown, you know that already. The brown looks so good on my skin, baby, wearing a size small, like I said. The small is the one I'm wearing in the TikTok video and the IG video. That fits me a lot better. Oh my God, and then while I was at Mango, I got another pair of shoes. These loafers, they're giving Chanel dupes. They're so cute. These loafers are back in style, just like it was when I was in high school. I can't believe it. These are weighty. They're weighty in the best way. They feel so stinking good. They feel good. They don't feel cheap. They feel great. Okay, this is made well. I'm wearing a size 10. I love these shoes. And then the tights just slide in so nicely. I love these loafers. Oh my God. I feel like this winter you need a good loafer, baby. And this is the one. This is the one. And I wore this in the viral video. I believe it'll go with a lot of things. Pants, skirts, dresses, what have you. It's a classic and you need it. Linked below. So those are all the looks. I, if you can't really tell, had a lot of fun filming this. If you want to see more lookbook type videos, let me know. I know I do them here and there, but I'm more in my fashion bag now. So comment and let your girl know. Let me know which look is your favorite also. And again, all the links are below. Follow me on all socials and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.